Read the disclaimer. Hello, everyone. So for this video, let us talk about the Beyblade X basic base stadium from Hasbro and why it's not good. So I obviously want to preface the video with saying this. I we all understand that this stadium is obviously the budget stadium. Obviously, since we've seen with the Turbo Era and Slingshock, Hasbro's been, actually even, even before then, but Hasbro's been doing like these very basic square base stadiums that they've been constantly releasing. And every occasion, the stadiums are just not good. And when you get to the ones where they try to replicate the gimmicks, they've always ended up as really, really shit. Now, obviously, the purpose of this stadium to ever exist is obviously the budget option, right? So with that being said, we have to first factor in this. Listen, we understand this is a budget option, but this video is going to be looking at it as fair as possible to what are the pros and cons to this other than just accessibility? Were there, were there design elements they could have maybe tried to avoid? What was good with? So trying to be as fair as possible to it, right? Cause I think people think this video is gonna be, oh, Hasbro shit, shit Hasbro, no, 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 no. It's a fair view of this stadium, a fair view as much as possible. I think this stadium is shit, but I at least want to explain why I think it's shit. So for the basic stadium, as we have it laid out on here, which for the angle, just for the sake of this, for the battles, I'm probably just gonna have it like fitting it like this, even though it's gonna be weird. Um, you have your basic pocket, basic pocket, basic pocket, and then after, again, also your pocket there. Now these smaller pockets, they're about a total of about, if we go from this end to here, it's like almost eight-ish, nine-ish and maybe like five centimeters deep. Yeah, this one more or less the same for how deep it is, and it's like it's like slightly wider, maybe like a 10 centimeters or whatever, right? Okay, so if you see how the rails are, they go from all the way to the bottom, like very, very thick, right? If you look in reality for whether this is like the Keratomi for how they have the, the accelerator rail for like the gear ratio, or even like a regular Hasbro one, what are you gonna notice if I get something just to see how thick it is? If Hasbro's gears are basically like, let's just say, cause it's kind of hard because you can't really grip it on there. Let's just say uh, or approximately around 8.5 versus specifically let's just say three millimeters. And the difference here, right, is that if I place it there, the, there's two big differences. One, this basic stadium has all the gears connect to the bottom. Well, in general, if you're going to have this on a regular stadium, there is a little bit of height and elevation when a bay is interacting and going around here. So why is this an issue? Because if with them interacting with the stadium, which I'll show in a moment, the other parts of the pocket, let's do some battles and let's see whether or not it was a good idea or not. And then after I'll kind of give my overall thoughts as we get to the wrapping up section. Alrighty, so we have the stadium set up here. So I figured, why don't we just show the difference in all of the gear ratios for bits before we kind of get into it because I feel it's very important in just showing how they interact with the stadium. So let's go over a basic flat just to see how it works three to one left rip. So just like a pretty normal launch. Does okay with it. Obviously if you try to do a little bit stronger, probably not. Three to one left rip. At that point, yeah, at that point you're not going to. No, kind of. We're definitely at the start not too much. So let me just try again a regular one. Three to one left rip. That's a pretty light launch. So things you're gonna already start to notice with this stadium, which I'm gonna try to zoom in at least on this one for this weird side one we have. They kind of randomly get stuck here and sometimes they don't do the line fully, which obviously is to be expected with how the space is, but just to mention, but for regular bits, I think they just do okay. I think it's a, a little bit cringe how they interact. Now let's try something like Rush on uh, Dagger Drawn. Three, two, one, rip. So this one, you do kind of get it. It's actually pretty well, I'd say, three down that rip. So that is, I would say, relatively mid kind of launch. If I do a good launch now, three down that rip. Okay. Actually, something like Rush's ratio, I think probably that makes more sense. Probably Rush's ratio could probably work well enough, actually, I guess. 
Um, next up, let's try XL. Now XL, okay, so the diff, this has 12 gears, and I think this one's like, I don't know, 16 or some shit. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I'll put some audio correction if I said the wrong number. Three, two, one, there, rip. So kind of a, a medium launch. Kind of, I would say. Let's try to go for a stronger launch. Three, two, one, there, rip. So in this one, it's more focused on the extreme dash. It does kind of do it a little bit funny. But in general, it's kind of weird how it interacts with it. It kind of messes it up a bit, which is why I personally don't like it. But let's try a gear flat bit, and I'll explain why these gear bits work. Actually, this gear point, but still. Three, two, one, rip. So, the reason why technically gear bits work better, and mostly on the flat ones, or any of the aggressive, is because of the fact it's already connected all the way to the bottom, the height difference on that doesn't make any sense to hurt it. So, three down the rip. Three down the rip. The most consistent out of all of them is probably, funny enough, like this gear bits, which is probably a big difference you're gonna see. So just to kind of reiterate, on a basic gear, three down the rip. You can kind of do it, but what you'll notice is that even if I actually, even if I try to maybe just get this kind of on like a whatever launch, because of the difference in the accelerator rail, it's like it's skipping it almost. It's skipping the interaction. Um, Rush is, actually Rush kind of works out, it's like kind of perfect in there. Uh, something like Excel or anything that's gonna have this type of ratio, can, it, it, it's kind of better than flat, I guess. And then after like these uh, variants on the bottom, these ones are just like probably the best, but that's a big importance in battle. So already we just have to eliminate this and just view this stadium, casually speaking, not competitive. Let's uh, first do some casual battles and let's attempt to do competitive just to get some good thoughts. So I'm joined here by the talented blader that is my mother, who will be uh, destroying me in battle, I guess, I don't know. So we have all of this, so you pick whatever you want. Rhino Horn versus Steel Samurai. Three to the rip. Three to the rip. That was technically how you launched, but also these do do this. I don't like it, but I mean. Oh my god, what a waste. Yeah. In fairness, right? You'd kind of throw it at it, but also okay. you should be kind of falling down. I hope you fall down before. Okay. Okay, that's that was, un that was okay. I'm gonna give you another round. So it's actually okay, awful. Thanks. Like I like I basically am winning all this, and I yeah. I don't feel any. I don't feel any joy. Either. Joy either. Okay, three down there. Rip. Ah. Uh, okay, next up we've got. Okay, I guess I'm using Talon Pterodactyl against aha, uh -huh. drawn sword drawn. Three down there. Rip. Three down the rip. Okay. Three down the rip. Wow. Okay. I mean, I mean, let's continue. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Down the rip. Okay, got Helm Knight. Okay. No. no, no, no. You already picked it up. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Three down the rip. Oh. It's three down the rip. That was good. One point. What is that? Uh, three down the rip. Can I get it? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, three down the rip. Oh! I, 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 I'm actually, I, I guess I understand why the pocket, you, someone might say the pocket's there because it, uh, if they land here, they kind of stay there, but you could maybe, I don't know, maybe slope it up or something so they yeah. don't stay there? Yeah. I don't know. Actually, okay. I don't know. You need to do chain versus tusk. Okay, good. Wow, you picked a good one. Huh? Three down the rip. No! Well, it almost hit me, so that's a good sign, right? Three down the rip. I did actually notice something 
interesting. They also do kind of tornado stall lots now because of this part of the ridge there, which normally you don't see the bays interact because the space is kind of just pushed there. It kind of just is there. No, you're still using I it. I lost. Three turn the rip. Three turn the rip. And next up, we got Sore Phoenix again. Okay. Against Heel Shark. Three down the rip. Wow! That doesn't count. I'm going to obviously advise if you're at home. Be careful. Um, don't, 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 don't do this. Yeah, don't. Please, don't do that. Safety first. Get a good distance away from the stadium. Yeah. Three down the rip. I will say, I will say that while the shroud doesn't prevent all over shroud KO, it definitely does at least contribute to a certain amount. Because for those that are wondering, the shroud is this top part of the stadium. That's the, your blast shield to shield you off. Two down the grip. Come on! You can't be like that. Two down the grip. I did get an extreme, but that's not what I wanted to try, but whatever. Two down the grip. Dealing rip. Woo! You came back! And you went to a different pocket. So, I mean, okay, so the casual session done, what do you think of this compared um, to this one? Because obviously this is the cheaper one, it's the more budget. So what do you think of this? Like, out, out of, like it's okay, it's fine, right? It's fine. It's fine. So I think it's fine. It's fine, but it is dangerous. It's worse. Yeah. It would, you would say it's worse gameplay than obviously just, I just want to see competitively if I get a dagger drawn and a scythe incendio, me versus you. You can use this one if you want. Three down like rip. So we'll both use it. Because I'm used to this. Mine is stuck here. Okay, well this is your answer competitively. Great guy, great, 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 oh my god, great design, guys. Amazing, so much fun, yay. So competitively, no. Competitively, I, I think it's fair enough to say no. This yeah. is casual free play. Three turn the rip. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of when they get on top of the rail. Oh my god. Yeah. Is this how I win? Well, I see this is not a good stadium design, and it's, this is what I mean. It's not, objectively speaking. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. You did win like that. I mean, yeah, I guess, hey, shit, it's man. It's just, it's, it's different, it's strategy. Okay, we're gonna swap. All right. Okay, please, because that's actually pissing me off, that sound. Two down the rip. Two down the rip. I'm just gonna use it with every attack type because otherwise, like attack versus attack, we've already kind of seen. Because if I don't do this in the video, they're gonna say, "Why didn't you do this in the video?" <laughs> so I gotta show it both. Three down the rip. Still right. Three down the rip. Three down the grip. Three down the grip. Okay, so before when I said maybe it's not too crazy, yeah, maybe maybe get a good distance. Maybe get a good distance every battle. But anyways, the stadiums are supposed to be kind of like uh, very much on a lower level competitively at events. So actually, but in general, if you're at home and you don't know these things, yes, please give a distance. Sorry, Phoenix. Three down the grip. Again, I, I probably think the gear bits are probably gonna be your best friend. Okay, I don't know why you're celebrating. Next round's mine. Three down the rip. Three down the rip. Yeah, you don't need so crazy high RPM, right? Maybe for the stamina, I don't know. 
Okay, stick down the rip. Okay, so a big tip in general for these attack types, um, you don't need crazy, crazy launch strength because it's not necessary. You're just wasting uh, a lot of energy because with how these stadiums work, um, you don't want to be just f fighting against the gears. Um, in general though, the bits are going to matter quite a bit on how you use this stadium. Um, I'm throwing in this bonus section, but uh, Wizard Rod 570 Hexa against the Shark combo. 3-2 on the rip. Okay, that was... That really went up in the air. Yeah. 3-2 on the rip. 2 on the rip. 2 on the rip. Circumstance of the stadium. Two down like rip. Rip. Two down like rip. Two down like rip. Two down like rip. Still the rip. Launch harder. Still the rip. I did too hard. Still the rip. Okay, you're doing good so far, so one second. Um, let's also just try this up against like a wizard rod on ball just to see how you do. Three down rip. Three down rip. Three down rip. Three rip. Okay. We got Helm Knight. Three down the rip. Three down the rip. Three down the rip. Okay, three down the rip. I mean, this is, I guess, working, maybe. I'm gonna try one more. I know what my problem is with the stadium now, because I wanted to do this section just to be sure. Three, two, one, like, rip. Okay, one, I didn't tilt either way, but that's besides the point. You know what the issue with this stadium is? Why I don't like it? it, it the gear ratio, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know what the big thing is? It's too biased to attack. The amount of pockets that there are, how it interacts with it. There, there's little to no room for defense to be used consistently and effectively competitively. So that's why for competitively, I don't like it. It's one type I don't think is gonna ever function well. Now that being said, regardless, are there potential strategies that you can maybe use to mitigate this, to uh, maybe try to avoid losing as easily? Maybe, but if ball and hexa wizard rod are, are getting thrown around easily without it being at least somewhat close while well, there were some rounds where it definitely did um i would disagree on this stadium fundamentally in terms of competitive but alrighty, final thoughts what do i think of the basic base stadium for beyblade x so we'll first go over uh any real pros this stadium has um i guess the price point okay now or what I don't like about the stadium. <laughs> okay, so I think some of the flaws in this stadium are kind of just the, the constraints, the fact that it is the bucket stadium. Now, the bucket stadiums have never been good. Never. <laughs> they always manage to be the worst experience out of the main gimmick it's trying to be. So already going in, it's like, okay, well, I'm already expecting this just not to be good. So we can't really go that much lower. Now, here's some of the issues with the stadium that I have for starters, the X line slash accelerator rail. It just can't, the gears on the bits cannot interact with it consistently. 
Um, for the most part, it, it, it's, it's kind of, of okay, but a lot of stuff just cannot work consistently on that stadium. And if that is your main gimmick where they have to interact with it and it's already kind of barely functional, then you kind of get it where it's like, okay. They also kind of stick around in the stadium really, really awkwardly. Um, the pockets, I'm, I'm kind of whatever on it. I think just of how the constraints are with the design, I think the pockets are probably screwed to begin with. So there is like a circumstance in that regard where it's like, okay, what can you really do for that one? So pockets, we kind of leave alone. I don't feel it's worth even going over. The bays do stay KO'd, which is actually a nice thing. So that's actually positive probably number two, which I'm gonna say. Um, the big issue too is just that fundamentally, the typing in Beyblade X cannot work. You cannot have defense and stamina function at all, and I feel that's the big thing holding this back. Because at least if those types could function properly, I would be like, okay, even for the last part, which I'm gonna mention, I could be like, well, at least that works, but it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't really work all that well, I would say. And keep in mind, I could have done this video, done eight minutes to try to shit out a video and not try to be as in in-depth as possible, and then after you'd probably get some weird butchered thoughts. But I went through the effort to go as in-depth with this as possible, which I'm gonna be doing with that other stadium too on the main stadium set, just to tell you that the gameplay of it is bad. Now with that being said, let's get on to the main point in this video, which is the stadium and its durability. After seeing the stadium, after I did some battles, you will see that the gears on the accelerator rail are very scuffed up and messed up. Uh, they are extremely beaten up and kind of killed. Obviously not too, too much right now, but if it's just with use on this one video, uh, yeah, imagine what happens in someone just using this one week. Terrible. Now, you can try to justify this in trying to say, well, the buckets have always been terrible for Hasbro as they're like the budget option. But the thing is, you all gotta like, please raise your standards for Hasbro, please, please have a higher standard. Just because they feed you shit doesn't mean you have to eat shit, right? You have to demand more for the money that you're giving to them. Mind you, this stadium is 13 American, 17 Canadian. Why shouldn't you have a higher standard for it? Why shouldn't you expect for Hasbro to put in the effort? That's why I hate ignorant comments where it's like, oh, well, because it's this, that means it can be this shit quality, or, oh, we'll be happy that they gave you the X line. It's like, <laughs> the bare minimum. <laughs> the bare minimum. Um, like, you can just be like, you wanna know what? Because of the fact that I cannot import it to Karatomi Stadium, fair enough or I cannot really afford an extreme set right now, this is my only option. And that would be fair enough to say. That is fair enough. I would say if this is your only option, it's whatever, fine, sure. I would say try to wait on an extreme stadium set to go on discount, or just try to hold off just a little bit, because this is the alternative is not good. Even casually speaking, I don't think it's that good because of the durability of the stadium, but in general, like, listen, I understand if it's your only option and I understand that point of view, but I feel what's happening is like this idea of kind of like emotion where it's like this justification because of the purchase that you're doing, you have to, like, you, you're already going in this narrow view set instead of just trying to accept all of the factors. So listen, I understand this as the alternative. I'm just saying as the alternative, I don't feel that it's that good for what Hasbro did. And I think you should be expecting better from Hasbro. As the alternative, durability is bad, gameplay bad. If you want to argue fun, whatever, you can get, have fun with anything. Sure, it's not, it's, it, it, like I said, it is what it is. It is what it is. If it's your only alternative, fine, fair enough. Again, I went through the effort in this video to test through everything. I didn't try to shit out this video, so you know I'm putting the effort. I'm putting the effort for you, the viewer, so you understand all this stuff breaking down, because I don't want this to happen where if something like this happens in the future with Hasbro, you get this weird justification from like these Hasbro people, whatever, like consume, consume product, whatever. I was as fair as possible. I said, okay, fine, if this is the only alternative, sure, but you gotta accept these other factors. And that's kind of where we all wanna end off this video. I'll be going through the same lengthy effort with the Takeratomi 
stadium, comparing that to the Extreme Set Stadium, and also just going in depth later on this week or eventually. But I want to say thank you all for watching. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts. I'm already gonna, I'm already gonna get the Hasbro people trying to choke me now. Uh, but yes. Um, also, if you are, are listening still, modelbase.com, we have Beyblade X products, Beyblade Burst products. It is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless. And hey, uh, we also have uh, our Amazon link for Hasbro Beyblade X if you want to check that out. Uh, I think technically this is there too. So if you want to, I don't know, support the channel another way you can. Actually, I don't even know if I'll, I want to put this now that I think about it. <laughs> Hey yo, even though Hasbro be taking some big L's, shout out to the channel members who are holding that massive W for supporting the channel. Shout out to Jordan Steele, Teddy Jones, Moad Adlin, Nick's Nerd Cave, Johannes, SD Seb. These are the people that are helping support this channel, helping keeping the channel alive through the membership. And I greatly appreciate any support regardless for any method, whether you like, whether you comment, anything at all. I appreciate all the support does not make any sense just raise your standards raise them please uh and that's why i want to kind of end off this video because i already know what's going to happen it's either going to get misconstrued not have proper context or just try to keep on justifying has we're just trying to give you the lowest quality possible in certain aspects like this so anyways yeah thank you for watching have an amazing day take care and bye